So, I saw an advertisement for NASCAR Manager, and it had real NASCAR drivers in it. So, I was like, wow, did they finally put real drivers in the game? But I was sadly disappointed as I found out it was just the Hendrick cars. But I downloaded the app anyway and played it for a good 30 minutes, and here are my thoughts. I was disappointed. <laughs> I mean, that's no surprise. The game honestly hasn't changed since I played it the last time. But uh, if you didn't see the first video, we're going to kind of run through, again, my feelings. And that's even with the new content. But as soon as you open the app, there is a an advertisement for you to buy the special Kyle Larson pack for $19.99. And it gives you the five Hendrick cars scheme. You get Kyle Larson as a driver 34 times and then a couple like parts or boosts or whatever. I don't quite remember. But essentially you're paying 20 bucks to be able to use Kyle Larson as your driver for 34 races and you get to have his paint scheme. And that's it. The, the all other Hendrick cars are also in the game like Faith Elliott, William Byron and Alex Bowman, and that is the whole theme of the game right now. Hendrick Motorsports. Do you boot up the game? It's the four Hendrick cars. You do the basic duels. It's the four Hendrick cars. Uh, whenever you do a race, it is the four Hendrick cars and a bunch of randoms. That's it. And I mean, <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't figure out how to unlock anybody else's paint scheme. Um, I don't know if you have to go through the duel like if you go through the duels they have different stages and each one's a different Hendrick car but if you go past the four like if you if you there's more than four like stages uh it, it goes back to it starts rotating Hendrick cars again so I, I I don't think that you unlock those paint schemes because they just keep going so it's weird it seems like the the only way I could find and I could be wrong and you know, you are free to say you're wrong, <laughs> but I, the only way I could find to unlock like a paint scheme was to buy it for twenty dollars, and I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's that's. I mean, it's a free mobile game. I get it, but that's ridiculous. Um, when you when you play the game, you have three options. You have like the basic duel where you just do races against another person, even though that person might or might not be real it, it acts like you're waiting on this person it acts like you're actually racing against them but i think it's just ghost cars but it, it doesn't try to make you feel that way it, it wants to make you think that you're racing against them in real time and you just do that over and over again until you beat that challenge level and that like there's you have to do it like 20 times you have to win 20 times to advance to the next one and it is just so tedious and it's just it's not enjoyable the biggest problem that i have with it is it's just that the, the the gameplay loop is just not fun i have not played f1 clash when i made the first video everyone's like oh you've never played f1 clash it's just like that well why would i want to <laughs> these games are not for me and you know if you are into this then that, more power to you i mean you know what you're getting into with these mobile games it's just not for me so essentially when you get you have two cars and you're racing against like 20 something 23 other cars or 22 it's 22 other cars and you your two cars and you have like a six lap race and you get to do the pit uh, the only thing you can do is just how fast your car goes there's three scales one two and three bars the faster you go the more fuel you use and the more you use your tires and you have six laps and that's it that is the gameplay loop it's 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 not fun and so like i tried my hardest to use different uh strategies i tried to have one car go slow or medium the whole time and try to make it one stop and doing that i didn't even make it on gas and i i'm it it just wasn't faster the the, the fastest way to to go was always just run hard Maybe save a little bit of gas at the beginning or end of the run. Pit. And you pit twice, I think. Yeah, you pit every two laps. And that's it. There's no alternate strategy. And even if it is, it's not faster. It's it's not. It's just not. It doesn't work. 
It's not worth it. It's not good. It's not fun. I, I saw another advertisement that showed the whole advertisement was just cars crashing. That was the whole advertisement of just there being wrecks in this game. And in and, and the 30 minutes I played, I didn't see one crash. I did not see one incident. And it's not like it would make it more fun. It would probably be more annoying. The AI isn't smart. It's hard to get them to even make a pass or move out. Like, I ran on full blast for, like, two laps. And my, my guy didn't want to make a pass. He got stuck behind the other cars. And I understand that's NASCAR racing. But we were at California. We were at Auto Club. Like... <laughs> You can make a pass there if you want to, and plus, it's a mobile game. No one's running the right line anyway. It's it's. <sighs> and then there's like another mode I couldn't even play because it didn't have enough gems or coins or something. I think it was coins. I think I had to have like twenty thousand. I had like eight thousand. I'm not spending any money on this game, by the way. It, it no, absolutely not. I couldn't even do that. And then there was another one that I don't remember what it was. <laughs> It, that just there's there's nothing fun you're not there's no season to go through there's no it's not like in in the i understand this game is not a uh, motorsport manager it's not f1 manager but they call it nascar manager you would think there would be a little bit more i mean you're just spending money to buy basic boosts and upgrades and drivers and unlocking them with crates and doing your daily challenges that are obviously rigged i mean it's just it's it's just stuff to get you to spend money I would rather spend 20 to $60 on a game and know I'm going to get 20 hours, 10 hours even of gameplay out of it than get a free mobile game and then just have the whole, the whole game is just berating you with advertisement and microtransactions. Like they they want you to spend money so bad and it's just not fun. It's not enjoyable. And they, they the addition of Hendrick cars didn't do anything. It just... All it wants you to do is spend money to acquire these Hendrick cars. And you don't even like get to race as them. I mean, you don't, you barely even get to see them because it's, if you're racing at the beginning at least, you know, your car's not very good. I think I, I think I got like third one time. Just, it's not, it's just not a fun game. And like, sure, they could have the whole field be real cars and you could, like, I'm sure. If they did, they could add right now the entire RTA and, you know, you could probably unlock these guys one at a time and that would probably be more fun. That would probably make it a little bit more enjoyable, but it's just not, it's just not good. <laughs> it's just not, it, I mean, even if it was real cars for me, it wouldn't make a lick of difference because for me, I don't even care about the cars I'm racing. I'm trying to focus on myself and beat the other cars and they just have the same Four, you get like four basic paint schemes to choose from. I mean, yes, you can unlock more, but they look terrible. And all the other cars look the exact same, and they're and they're they're just bad. They just look. It's not good looking. This game again shouldn't have even been released when it did. It was. They should have got like the NASCAR team licenses. It's just it's not a good game. It's not a fun game. And unless there's a major update again, I'm, I'm probably not going to touch it again. It's just, it's just a normal, it's just a normal mobile game now, and that's all. And if you if you like that stuff, that's fine. I don't. Um, and, and if you want to give it a try for yourself, more power to you. Like I said, I mean, I I just can't. It is not my style of game. I'm too old. <laughs> I'm I'm too much of a boomer for mobile transaction games. I did it back when I was in college, like Simpsons tapped out. I, I mean, even Angry Birds, I'd spent a little money on, but like, no, not, not for NASCAR. No. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed me ranting for eight minutes, nine minutes. I just, I just didn't have a good time with it. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time.